Hi loves and welcome to this Paris vlog. I'm only in Paris for a couple of days but I thought you know what let's vlog it. I'm by myself mostly because Claudia works here. I think I've told you this before but Claudia works in Paris a lot so sometimes when he's here I just come to visit and stay in the hotel with him and then just wander around Paris by myself because why not like that's literally the thing I've got I can shoot content here like I can do admin here so yeah sometimes I just come and I have a few days in Paris by myself um so yeah I thought I'd bring you along today and do a little vlog we're gonna do some shopping I really want some Celine sunglasses they've been on my list for quite a while random time to buy sunglasses I think because obviously we're going into like winter but I always still wear sunglasses in autumn winter anyway and I really want the little Celine ones with the sign and they're like tortoise shell. So we'll do a little bit of shopping today. I want to do some vintage shopping as well. Probably go for a little bit of a lunch. Probably have an audiobook on because I'm going to be by myself most of the day. But I've actually ran into um, two of the girls I know yesterday. So funny. Because um, obviously we're both from, we're all from London. And then we ran into each other in Paris. And we were like, oh my God, like we have to do something. So I'm actually going to go for a little croissant this morning with them. And shoot some pictures, a little bit of outfit photo. And then shopping for the day. So it should be a nice little day. I'm so sad Neil, I'm not here. Like Neil, I'm all always comes to Paris like me it's like our thing like we always go to Paris together so I'm gutted she's not here but we're gonna come again together soon so oh my god a bestie we've got a little bestie chose the best seat Wait for the girls to come and order a croissant. <laughs> so this is what we got: plain croissant, a coffee, a hot chocolate. I went for a tea because we don't have any other alternatives to dairy, so we've gone for a green tea. And we've got a little visitor, and the girls have arrived. Hello. Hello. Hi. hi. So I'm trying on lip sunglasses because I really want these are the exact ones I want to buy. And I was telling the girls, and they were like, "I've literally got the sunglasses." And I don't know, I wasn't sure if they suited me, but now everyone's convinced me that they do, so... They look fabulous. I'm you. like, right, maybe I have to buy these then. They really you need to buy them. They're quite small, that's <laughs> what I thought, like maybe my face is too big, but actually, no, I think they, they look cute now. Also, and I love you the wear a lot of this tone, yeah, and no. the tortoise shell looks really great yeah. with brown. Cute! So I might be buying these later, we'll see. We have arrived at the Louvre. Flora can barely walk. <laughs> She's so slow. <laughs> But she looks so good, so it's worth it. <laughs> so I've left the girls and my battery is literally just about to die. So I've had to come to prep to charge my phone. Always bring a charger, very come very prepared. And I've had to do a chill change because my feet were hurting so much. I've just got, gone for a flat boat now. I'm just going to literally sit here until my phone gets charged and then leave. This is so cute. We are going to some of the luxury shops. I mean, I'm on a budget. I'm not supposed to be spending, obviously, I was saving money for the house. But those sunglasses Olivia had <laughs> playing on my mind. Here we are, the sunglasses. I'm coming for you. This is like an accessories one, it's just all accessories. So I'm excited to go in there rather than like a accessories and clothes. And there's a couple on the street. I'm not going to go in anywhere else purely because I just don't want to spend any more money and I can't <laughs> get banned. I would go in Dior, I always like to go in there, but I think today we're just gonna go to Celine. Also, how nice are these ones? They're a little bit different to Olivia's, but I still really like them. I'm just not too sure if they're too similar to ones I've already got in the house. I also love the bags at the minute. The Celine is doing so good for bags at the minute, but I definitely cannot buy a bag today. I also love the colour of this belt. I feel like it's really different. I haven't seen anything like it before, but it is a little bit too similar to the one I've currently got on, I think. But I definitely want like, to buy a high street alternative to this belt because I feel like the colour is so good. And the earrings as well, how cute. Oh my god, I love these earrings. I'm gonna try this for lunch just because it's local and it was a queue outside earlier, so I feel like it's gotta be good. So I stopped here to get some so good. Mushrooms on toast, lomi. It's actually quite cute as well. You can sit outside. So that was very successful. I'm now jumped in an Uber. I'm gonna go to Suzanne. I think it's called Suzanne. Suzanne. It's I've been seeing it a couple of times on Instagram where I like outfits and they're always by Suzanne. I think they have got a shop in London, but it's really small. Or maybe I've not even been to the one in London, but I checked online and they do stock in London. But the Paris store looks massive, so I thought, well, let me go there and see if I can find any nice bits. 
Um, the store's huge, so I'm, it's like 10 minutes from where I am now, so I'm just jumped in the car. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find any like cute little skirts and stuff. And um, the models always look really tall, so that's what my hope is. <laughs> They've got like some cute little bits that'll be long enough for me. And I then I think I'm gonna go for dinner with Claudio and his colleagues tonight. He did invite me just now, so I'm like, well, maybe I should go there instead of being by myself, but we'll see. Okay, ignore. The skirt doesn't fit. I feel like this could be cute. Like, if this fitted, this is too small. But if I size up in this, I think it looks really cute with the with the top. And like some brown boots, I think would look really cute. But I just don't know if they have my size in this. I do really like this skirt. I don't normally go for suede, but I think it looks cute. I mean, the lighting and the change rooms is never the one, is it? Like, it's never going to be the one. <laughs> I don't even know if you can see the outfit. Like, the light is like not given. But just have a little bit of an imagination with this. I think it could be cute. This is cute. Obviously, not the changing room lighting. But I think this is cute. I think it could be very cute. I like the button down. I think it's very fitted, it's nice. I think like with some high boots. Not these, obviously. I just wish I actually could see it without this lighting. Because I think it's cute. Just don't know. So on the way back to the hotel now. <laughs> my face is so shiny. Because I was in for powder on and I've been sweating. I'm wearing this coat. It's really not the weather for it yet. Like there was just no need to wear a coat. But it is in the evening, so if you are coming, definitely bring one. Because in the evening after dinner last night, I was really cold. And I put the coat on, so it's like. But it is hot. Like in the day, it's quite humid today. So yeah, very, very hot walking around in this big, huge coat. We got the goods. I mean, I've got this huge bag just because I was carrying another bag and I've just put them all in there. And then I've got them two little um, I'm mugs, uh, for one for Neelam and one for Claudio. And I'm going to give it to Neelam as like a, just a little gift from Paris and say like, keep it in my house whenever she comes. She's got her own mug. I really like that, like having your own mug in someone's house. I think it's cute. Cause she's like my little family. So I'm excited to give her that. Um, Cezanne, I hope I say that right, is amazing by the way. The quality of the stuff was so good. I tried on a jumper dress and it just felt so, so nice. It was like 100 euros, I think, or maybe like 120. And then I looked at the um, what it was made out of and it was like merino wool. I was like, wow, okay, that's really, really good. Um, I think for like the quality of the stuff, the price is so good. Like some like better. Um, I went in Sandro and I looked at a few pieces in there and I liked. But then for the price of the Sandro stuff, say for example a jumper dress in there was like three hundred pounds. The actually what it's made out of the Cezanne stuff had like better quality materials if that makes sense. I love the jumper dress, but I just didn't know how much I was gonna wear it. I really want that skirt. So tomorrow we're going to get that skirt. Like I'm gonna get that skirt tomorrow. I feel like. I've been running about like the whole day today and yesterday as well. I didn't vlog yesterday, but I've just been running around like shooting content, meeting up with people. But tomorrow I'm just going to take the day, like no makeup, stick my hair back, comfy shoes. I wish I'd brought my trainers to be honest. Uh, but flat shoes and like it's going to be one of them shopping days where you've got like your flat shoes on and your hair slicked back and you're ready for it. <laughs> like that's going to be me tomorrow. And I want to go and find that um, skirt. I think I'm going to go to the shopping centre because I've not only ever been there once. She did tell me the name. I think it's Bon Marsh. Um, so I think maybe that tomorrow or just walk around the 7th because there's loads of shops there and it's actually not that far from the hotel we're staying at. I can probably just walk there in like half an hour uh, with comfy shoes on. So that's the plan for tomorrow. I'm going to rush back now. Should get back for 6.15 and then I'm going to head to dinner with Claudio and his colleagues. We're going to miss something. I can't remember what it's called. I'll try and vlog it but I might be a bit like embarrassed in front of his colleagues. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to do it because... It just feels a little bit, I don't know, I'll be a bit embarrassed. I think I'll be a bit like, oh no, shall I do it, shall I know? I don't want to embarrass him either, obviously. So um, maybe I wouldn't, I'll try and get some footage later, but we'll see. And, and then I'll show you some bits as well. Uh, maybe we'll do that tomorrow with no makeup, chill uh, in the hotel before checkout. This is the only glimpse of the Eiffel Tower I've got on this trip. I just said to Claudia, I can see the Eiffel Tower. I did say do I want to go and watch a sparkle, but it's in 20 minutes and he's been working all day, so next time. We have got the Arc de Triomphe, though, on the, on the walk home. Oh, and some music, like, romantic. 
So I didn't vlog at dinner just because I didn't have the, I couldn't do it to myself. Like I just, I didn't even think about it anyway, I just forgot. But um, we're walking home now. We went to Miss Cole, I think it's called. And it was good, it was really good. It was nice, but I wouldn't be like, go there, you have to go this. It's amazing. So it was just, just nice, like nice enough for the evening. And now we're gonna walk home. Morning loves. It is a no makeup day, hair slip back. I've got a super comfy outfit on. I can't really show you here, but um, I'll try and show you at some point today. It's got like leather shorts on and a trench because I was a little bit warm yesterday in that court. Um, we've checked out of the hotel. I've just grabbed a banana from next door. And I'm gonna get an Uber to Bon Marche, I think it's called. It's the shopping center where they said they had the skirt in stock. So I'm gonna head there because I feel like it's a mix of luxury and high street. And I think my pints are good finds. Just like, um, I really wanna get that cute little skirt, maybe like a knit or something else from them. So we're gonna head there now. It probably takes about 15 minutes in the car. I'm just waiting for an Uber. And then do a little bit of shopping. And then it's a home time. It's such a short and sweet trip, but um, it's been lovely like, to get out of the house and come here. And I always feel like a little bit more creative here. I don't know why, I think the building's so pretty and it's just a vibe and then. So little outfit of the day, because I didn't manage to show you today. Got these little shorts on, these are from Anthropology. Tiny boots, I've got a bag that I've been wearing constantly. Oh, the skirt. Okay, the skirt is a bit small here and big here. So I would need it taken in like this. But then I still don't know if it's like pull in there. And I don't think they have 38. So if I take it in like this, does it look? I don't know. I'm trying to gauge whether it looks too small there. We've had to switch over to the phone because my camera's broken. I've just spilled water all over in the bag. And the camera's broken. I was meaning to get a new one anyway, so this is the higher power forcing me to get one. But how cute is this? I love this shit so much. Like, may or may not be the cutest thing I've ever put on in my entire life. Just don't know whether to size up. I don't know. Do I get a bigger size? Actually, I think this is, fits quite good. It's not pulling. It's just the arm, a little bit under the arms. <gasps> Please say they have this, these in the size up because I'm in love with them. So I've just found out 36 is an eight, which is why I'm not fitting in anything. I'm a 10, so um, I hope that they've got these in a 10 because I absolutely love them. They still fit me, but see this pull, I think they'll be better in a 10 and I'm obsessed. If they can get them in a ten, I think these are going to be amazing. Look how long they are. This is so rare. And just like that, I am back from Paris and I'm filming on my phone now because my camera broke. Can you believe that? I basically put a bottle of water in my bag and then I think that it leaked a little bit. And then when I brought my camera up to film, it just wouldn't press record. It just kept going off. So I'm gutted, I'm gonna have to buy a new camera. And then as I was in the shop, I was like thinking, I'm gonna have to buy a new camera, I better calm down. I don't know how um, successful this vlog's gonna be. And also that noise now, silent. We've moved out of London, so we've not got any more building and like works and ambulance and sirens, but we do have people cutting their grass quite a lot. <laughs> I guess like people in the country, well, it's not even the country, it's 20 minutes out, but Everyone's always cutting their grass here, I don't know why, I just feel like when there's like a little bit of sun, everyone just starts cutting the grass, so bear me with me with the lawnmower noise. I thought I would show you what I picked up uh, in Cezanne. I loved Cezanne, by the way. I went in there, I just loved it. I'm going to go back to the one in London. I just thought the quality on the stuff was so, so good. So I picked up the little skirt that I tried on, you'll remember. Oh my God, it's so cute. The eight is too small and the 10 is too big. So I've got a size 10 and I'm just gonna take it in. I'd rather have something that's too big and then just take it in a little bit at the waist rather than buy something that was feeling a little bit tight on my thighs. I'd always go size up and then just get it sort of tailored. So this is the little skirt I bought. How cute. It's not cheap in Suzanne. Like I wouldn't say it's high street prices. This was 90 euros. But I thought the quality and the materials is so worth it. So for example, this skirt is 100% wool and then 100% viscose. Like it's a wool skirt. And I just feel like compared to like and other stories, for example, this skirt would probably be 75 pounds in other stories and it would be made of polyester like most of the time. So I feel like even though it is a little bit more expensive, it is really worth it, if that makes sense. 
So I've got that little skirt, also got the shirt, my favourite thing I've purchased in such a long time. I love stuff like this. There was, a, there was a red one as well with the red hearts that I also loved. But I thought I can't have two shirts, especially after my camera broke. I was like, I need to put some things back. I put seven things in my hand. I was like, I need to get this down to three things because I'm not find a camera tomorrow. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got this. Oh, how lush is this shirt? I love anything with like hearts or like flowers or like really girly and cute in it, but it's really lush. And with a little skirt and the cuffs, honestly, I know I'm going to wear this so much. I absolutely love it. Again, so soft, like the cotton. It just feels so soft on my skin and I love that. And then lastly, out of the clothing, I bought these trousers. I was having an hour about these. They were long enough. So that was coming to me. I was like, all right, they're long enough, which is good. Like, I'm like okay, that, that's making me want to buy them. And I love the high waist and I love the buttons on them. I thought they were so lush. They're a little bit big. Again, size eight was too small, size 10 was too big. So I'm gonna take them in. They're wide leg. And I just hope I get loads of weight out of them. When I was in the shop, I was like thinking of a few different ways I could style them, but I could only think of a few. So I don't know. Then I sent the picture to my mother and I was like, shall I buy these or not? She was like, I love them. They look really smart. They're so nice. Definitely get them. You might regret it. Then she was like, your nan's got 50 pounds for you for your birthday to put towards them. And I've got 30. I was like, right. I'm like, make it. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm going to buy them. So these were like 100 euros, I think. They were, they're, again, not cheap, but the quality and the materials, so good. And then I also picked up, so random, but these mugs, I mean, the most random thing ever. I just love, you know, like anthropology in London, where you go in the shop and there's like a clothing section, a jewellery section and a home section. That's me all over. Like, I love that. Like, I'll go to the clothes section, then I'll go to the jewellery and then I'll be in there for hours. Like, the fact that Suzanne had a, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, by the way, Suzanne, I hope I am. Home section, stop me there. As soon as I seen the mugs, I was like, I'm done for. I've got to buy one. And then they didn't have my S, but I never really buy myself mugs. I'll buy them for other people. So I bought this. I hope she's not going to watch this vlog for my friend Neelam because we've just moved house, haven't we? So I thought I'll buy a little mug so she has her own mug when she's in the house. How oh, lush is it? Oh my God, I love it so much. I wish they had an S as well. I could have had matching. This is stunning. I love it so Like the colour. The initial on it in gold, the size of it. If you remember, if you followed me for a while, you probably won't remember this, but on Instagram, I did do like a confession, maybe like two years ago, two and a half years ago, that sometimes when I really want a nice big cup of tea, a mug is like not enough. So I use a bowl, like I'll drink the tea out of the bowl. So when I saw a mug, I was like, I'm sorry, but this is nearly the size of a bowl and I'm here for it. Like, I will drink all that tea. So I got that one for Neelam, and then I just got the same one for Claudio. <laughs> Didn't buy one for myself, and then I was like, Claudio, I got a gift for you. And he was like, what is it? I said, it's a mug. And he's like, ah, oh, lovely, thank you. He hates having mugs as gifts. He barely even drinks tea, but I was like, whatever, you're having a mug. <laughs> ah, lush, a white one. So they're like kind of matching, but not matching. So, so cute. The mugs are 30 euros. Claudio was like... I cannot believe you just spent 30 euros on a mug. He was so shocked. And I was like, yeah, but they last forever and they've been in the house. And there was just nothing soft me buying them mugs. I, I was just so, so shocked with them. And then lastly, two bits from Celine. I need to check this is actually even still recording. This is the hard thing about the phone with the camera. You can check, you can see because it's got a flip screen. But on the phone, this might not even be recording. So I need to check. Oh, yes, it is recording. Perfect. Celine, oh my god, no, stop me. When I go shopping with Neelam, she always like stops me. She's like, no, let's have one thing. Let's calm it down. Like you love one thing and it really helps me like Kirby. I haven't bought stuff for such a long time because obviously the house, I've just been buying house stuff, but I have wanted these for ages. And again, in Paris, it is cheaper to buy than London. So I got the sunglasses, I'm gonna show you. Oh, they're so good, like. I can't even go up. They're so, so, so cute. And I'll try them on. I just love them. I just love them. The guy in there, the um, sales assistant was so nice as well. <gasps> Stop. They're nice. I love, I, I mean, as if I'm gonna wear them like this, by the way, I can't even see, like, I'll obviously have to wear them up a little bit like that to protect my eyes. But then the pics and that down, you know, like, I love them so much. 
I think they're so good. I showed them to Claudio and he was like, how much were they? I was like, let us not talk about it. Okay, let us not go there. We're just gonna slide past that one, how much they were, and never speak of it again. And just enjoy the sunglasses. <laughs> and then this was a bit of a thrill purchase. I shouldn't have got it. Now I'm home, I'm like, why did I do it to myself? When I looked at the money go from my bank, I was like, well, what's going on? Um, why did I do that? And should I have done it? Then I rang my mother and my mother was like, don't worry, you've got your birthday coming up. Like, you know, just have money off people and then take the money off the spend of the earrings. So I was like, right, okay, that makes sense. I mean, normally I didn't get that much money for my birthday, not to buy these earrings, but it'll at least make me feel like I haven't bought them all myself. So these are the earrings. I've wanted little gold hoops for such a long time, the luxury ones. And I've been everywhere, Dior, um, Louis Vuitton. And I don't know why, there was just something stopping me buying them. I think the Louis Vuitton ones were too chunky. Didn't really love the Fendi ones. I've not found the perfect ones. So when I went and saw these, it's like, oh, I love them. They're like not too much, you know? Like they, they're still quite, I don't know what the word is, but just not too over the top, I think. They're still quite like chic and I'm um, I love them but they're gonna be for my birthday so I'm gonna put them away now I'm not gonna look at them until my birthday obviously I need to show you but then they're gonna go away in back in the box and then on my birthday I'll open them again and be like happy birthday and that'll be my gift because I can't be buying anything else now and that is all I bought I hope you enjoyed this vlog let me know if you did I love vlogging I've actually got so many house updates to show you as well so I might do a ha like home house vlog next let me know in the comments if you got to the end of this video thank you so so much for watching and I will see you next week